All right, so the next question is, um, why do people hate magic? Here's something I found on the web. According to salvation.com, we've done a lot of research, both in focus testing and in the field, and we have learned that people really hate it when their spells get countered. And that's Alexa's thought on why people hate magic. All right, the next question was a bit of a long one, but the short version um, is, do souvenir giveaways work at weddings or is it a bit tacky? The best giveaway you can give someone is your business card. Um, there is various other things that I give away. So for example, I'll give away a card and a, a plastic sleeve so it doesn't get dirty. It has a sticker on the back with my contact details. I also have a couple of other things uh, depending on the act that I'm doing. I also have a big, big giveaway that I give to bride and groom. Um, but the best thing is, is to give away a business card because um, it will get you more work. A lot of people don't believe that business cards work, but they do. So here is the best way to give out a business card for a magician at an event. And there's my phone number in case you get lonely. So that is a way that I hand out my business card at, at weddings. Um, I'll say it to the most alpha male in the group. And there's my business card in case you get lonely. Uh, they'll take it and then I'll go, oh, you feel left out and I'll give it to somebody else and I'll go, and then I'll give it to someone else. And then if there's like a young, good looking girl, I'll always go, you can ask your partner for my phone number. Um, because then it's not showing that you're hitting on them either um, by going, there's my phone number, phone me darling. So it shows that you're not hitting on them um, and it's a fun, playful way. And you've also gave out four or five business cards without actually going, here's my business card. You've just gave them to people, made a joke, and then people go, oh, right, cool, I've got his business card. And they put it in the pocket, so it's not a, and there's my business card. That's a bit of a ramble there, but that is how I hand out business cards, and that is uh, my thoughts on uh, souvenir giveaways. All right, so the next um, question comes from one of my best friends. Um, they have said, what is the best music album of all time? Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park. Next question. Okay, so the next question I have is, your favourite venue to perform at? Now, this question actually came from a friend of mine, um, Elliot Bibby, amazing magician uh, based here in Scotland. So he's probably interested to see my favourite venues to work and I'd be interested to see what his favourite venues are. So I have various venues for different reasons. Um, I've got a couple of venues that I like just because uh, I know the staff and I've been there quite a lot. So it's like going to see my friends. Um, so for example, there's one quite close to me. It's the Park Hotel in Kilmarnock, the Dumfries Arms in Cumnock. Uh, they're two venues that I'm in uh, a fair bit. Uh, there's also the Riverside Lodge in Irvine. Uh, again, uh, I'm, I'm a recommended supplier there and I have been for a few years um, where it's been under various different names. So uh, I know the staff quite well there. There's various venues that I just really like. Uh, I like Turnberry. Turnberry is a five-star golf resort uh, owned by Donald Trump. Uh, and it's a really stunning venue. I always have a good time there. Uh, I've done a couple of weddings. I also work there every Christmas day, uh, which is really good fun. So I just quite enjoy that venue. Uh, there's so many, so many great venues. Um, I like Enterkin House, that's another one that's down in there. Uh, I do like uh, what's called the Brig of Dune. I like the Brig of Dune in Alloway. Um, but there's some that I really like because they're really convenient. So for example, one of my favourite venues that I perform in uh, is the Grand Central in Glasgow. So literally, if I'm ever performing at the Grand Central, I get the train, I come off the train, and it's literally next door. It takes two minutes uh, from the train station, so I know it's uh, kind of safe and I'm not going to be late and um, get stuck in traffic or anything, so um, it's a convenient venue. And the last venue I'm going to mention is uh, actually Cameron House. Um, it looks over Loch Lomond, it's got an absolutely fantastic view. 
Um, so every time I, I go there, I kinda, as I'm walking in, just kind of take a few moments to just look at the uh, really nice view. So there we have it. That's just some of my favourite venues. Elliot, I know that you asked this question, so I'd like to hear yours. See how they uh, vary from uh, the venues that I enjoy and the venues you enjoy. Okay, so the next question comes from uh, another magician from YouTube. Uh, this is a guy called Jack Rhodes. You might have saw him, uh, he's been on Penn and Teller Fuller's, he's been on the James Corden show, Ellen DeGeneres show. Um, you should check out his videos, he's really good. I'll put a little link in the description, so check out Jack's channel. So the question from uh, Jack Rhodes is, is this fake? No, it's very real, very, very real. Just like your Penn and Teller performance, your performance on Ellen, and also your performance for James Corden. This is very real. All right, and the next question is, what venue has the nicest soap? Okay, so this question came from my friend Elliot Bibby again. Um, so, I like hand soap, right? And I'm not going to de deny it. So, I kind of, privately, I know where has good hand soap. So, uh, in answer to your question, Elliot, it's Turnberry. All right, so the next question is, um, why do people hate magic? 